up guys welcome back to the channel we got a 16 f450 and it's got a little bit of an oil leak not engine oil just uh, we got a power steering leak um, and uh, it's coming from the steering gear I don't know if I can show you under here not quite yet but you can see how wet the uh, that linkage is right there. Kind of see how wet it is. But uh, today I'm going to show you how to replace your steering gear on your 6.7. This is warranty. It's uh, got about 30,000 on it. And uh, it is leaking uh, power steering fluid from the top of the gear. So, um, yeah, I don't know if anybody's ever replaced their steering gear. But here we go. All right, we're going up. Here we go. We are gonna need to take this fender liner out. We got five and a half mil, five and a half mil, five and a half mil, eight mil, eight mil, eight mil, eight mil, eight mil, two bolts, two bolts go up. Bolt here, bolt here, and then we have a trim a trim Christmas tree clip right there. So let's get this fender liner out and get a little more visual access. Okay, we're just gonna do the last trim clip. Awesome. Okay. Single-handedly, I'm gonna take this fender liner out. Like, why couldn't all fender liners be like this? Come on, 6-0. Let's morph us a 6.7 fender liner. All right, all right, note to self, when I take fender liners off, they are pretty flimsy, and I want them to keep the same um, shape that they're in. So if I lay it on the ground, it just doesn't, it just folds on itself. So what I like to do is I'll come back here to the back tire and put my fender liners sitting right on the tire so it keeps that that memory circular shape, so I'm not fighting it, putting it back in. Just a little tidbit up here. Okay, here's better access, and there's the gear. We're gonna go, and we're gonna take these two lines off. We're gonna slide that plastic cover up and disconnect the mechanical steering linkage to the steering gear. And then afterwards, we get that loose, we're gonna raise it up, disconnect this connection right here, and then come back, and um, I always my magnet, my metal, damn light, and we gotta come back and we gotta take out these three monster bolts, so, all right. 
to the power steering line. All right, guys, I've already went and taken out uh, the two lines. This one, uh, the bent one, goes <coughs> closest to the frame. And the other one, I've tucked up here above the power steering pump and I've capped it off just so that I'm not getting douched on with power steering fluid. So the last thing that I gotta do upstairs right here is take that bolt out right there so that I can disconnect this coupler from the steering gear. Okay, here we go, 13 milli. Okay, we got her loose. So we're gonna pop this out and let it hang. And then we got our three bolts on the side. And just like this. See this end's tapered. So that's why you just gotta smuck that so you can get it out of the way. And this shock's gonna, gonna extend on you. So if you wanna get hit with this, it's gonna let it, let it take all of its weight off. And that's, this is its final resting position, so now that that is off, we're going to get those two bolts. Three. Here we are, final step of removing the gear on your 6.7 power stroke. We have three 15 16 size bolts that are holding the gear to the frame. I'm going to take out two bolts, and then my assistant is going to help me remove the actual gear from the frame, because this thing is very heavy, probably 40, 40 pounds maybe. They're that big, they're huge. They got Loctite on them. All right, last bolt, it's heavy. Okay, all three bolts are out. It's got to wiggle her out. Here it comes, there it is. Awesome, awesome. Look at this monster. Look at this monster. This monster.
All right. Now, the last part we are gonna have to do is we're gonna have to remove this. And this has got a huge nut that we're gonna have to torque and put back on. So that's the steering gear out of your Power Stroke 6.7. Okay, here's the new one in the box. Oh, Brazil, Portuguese, eh? And we're gonna open this up and kind of show you guys what the, the new gear is gonna look like coming out of the box. It should come with a new, uh, new whole, whole new assembly. I don't think this is remanufactured. Fucker's heavy, man. Look how big that is. This is where it was leaking, right out of here. Flew it all over the place. So, let's, uh, let's orientate ourselves. Alright, there's where our, our lines go in. Here's where our thing goes, uh, our steering linkage. So we got three ginormous bolt holes. And then uh, underneath here, we'll have to put that steering linkage on. So let's get to it. All right, so we got the new one here on the bench. We got the old one. We took the nut off. And the nut size is a one and 13 sixteenths. Uh, all I had was a three quarter. Had to go to a half inch drive to get the nut off, so no big deal. The next step we have to do, there's a couple of pullers you can use. You gotta find out which one fits your correct application. We had to use the big one because we're working on a big old soup duty. And uh, right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tighten this bolt to push against this, to push against this big, big stud to pull this uh, piece of metal or steering linkage off that's gonna hook up to the uh, part you saw us take off underneath. So I got it all set up. We're looking at a 19 milli to turn this. And uh, we're just gonna let it come up pretty much to those threads. It does have a master link on here. So it's only gonna go on one way. If you notice, this little dimple here is corresponding right to here, vice versa on this i've already located that dimple and that master link on this one and this is coming out of the truck with the steering wheel steering wheel in the straight ahead position so if you look right on top of it you can actually see that it's not like this it's actually off to the side a little bit so don't worry we're gonna see how this comes off right now Puller. And all right, already pulled off, and there we are. There's our Pitman arm master link right there. It's facing me, facing me right now. And we're gonna slide it on. Only goes on one way. Yeah. That's good enough. We're gonna put it back in, right? No! This thing has gotta to be torqued to like 400 foot pounds. And I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna do that. So we're gonna put this nut back on. Yippee ki yay. Ah, ah. I don't know, my thumb muscle's really been hurting me these last couple days, both of them. Like, I don't know what, what the hell is going on. I just like right there, like this turning, this, ah, my thumb. I don't know why my thumbs hurt. I ain't doing hitchhiking. I ain't giving thumbs up. This week's been kind of hard. Had a rough start to the week. All right, so we're gonna torque that down. We're gonna look up the torque sequence and procedure. I'm gonna show you guys what we gotta do. We got it set up. We got our big nut socket, our one and 13 sixteenths, and we got 
our wrench, our torque wrench set to 350 foot-pounds. We got some Loctite on our nut, on our steering gear, and we're gonna go ahead with the final torque. All right, we got it set here in the place so that we can try to not have this turn and achieve the maximum torque spec on this. We're going for 350 foot-pounds. This is a giant torque wrench, three-quarter. Oh. Hold on, I gotta tighten the vise. Starting to move. Okay, redo. Oh, okay, it's getting tight now. Only little swings. Uh, uh, gotta re, re get a better angle here so I can swing. Uh, 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 uh. All right, gotta take a break. Golly dang. Woo, we're gonna have to hold the bench. Oh yeah. We're gonna have to hold the bench. Golly gee. All right. I wonder if this thing is moving. Uh -huh. Come on, it's got to be this this swing. On the middle leverage. Yeah. All right, we need to uh, readjust the gear and the vise. Do it one more time so they can hear it. Oh, whoa, man, 350 foot pounds. That ain't no joke, dudes. Right there, 350, you looking at it. Look how long this thing is. Holy Toledo. All right, on to the next step. All right, we are going to loosely install that gear into the truck. Here we go. It's heavy. Just letting you know it's heavy. Good job, bro. Proud of you. Good job. Good job. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. You see? See you. Yeah, keep going. You got it. You got it. Something went out. Wiggle. Yep. You got it. Yep. Oh, wow. Wiggle. Okay, okay, we're loosely installed, folks. All right, we uh, took these bolts back out to uh, pull a little Loctite on them. Now we're just gonna go back downstairs, connect that right up into there. Yep, just gotta compress that shock. 
Hold on. Oh, we gotta correct that. All right, we're slipping it in right now. Did it pop back out? I'll hold the tire. I got it. Okay, here we go. Got that down. Okay, we're gonna need our castellated nut. Perfect. Now we need these two. Orientate that uh, correctly so you can see that hole. Uh, like that. And I'm gonna take. Uh, gotta use two hands for this one. Okay. Cotter pin through. And we have bent the tabs so it doesn't come out all right now we're going to go back upstairs and tighten our lines and steering shaft all right lastly we're just gonna restart these lines I got one we're gonna go ahead and snug her down Right there. One little more snug. Okay. We'll do it one more time just for good measure. Okay. Now we just gotta thread our last one in just like that. A little slippery. A little slippery with these white gloves on. She's seated 18 milli. We're just gonna go ahead and snug this one. Two. Lines weren't too bad to get to. Um, I've had worse. Some of the uh, six O's when doing cab offs are kind of a kind of a pain in the butt. But. Uh, don't, don't need little bitch hands to do this job. I guess I should have took this red little cap off while it was out, but nonetheless, we're gonna save that to cap off our repairs we do in the future. All right, steering shaft going in right there. Only goes on one way because the bolt has to go through there guys want to get that bolt in the right spot because uh, you, you can't get your socket on it just turn the wheel just a little bit so you can get your socket straight on and maximize that torque here and we are going to put this back on our line so that we're sitting all covered up that coupler that connections covered okay all right and last the Fender liner back in, you guys. We made a mess with power steering fluid. This is a uh, really good customers of uh, mine here in the shops. Gonna make sure all of our power steering and evidence that we have been in here get it completely away. We don't want to see. I especially don't want to see anything. Very expensive truck. I don't want it to look like I worked on it. All right, okay, now we're putting the fender liner back in, you guys. All right, so fender liner going back in. What I like to do is just to get this thing hanging, I like to get my front end, just like this. And I like to get this trim clip in, and it kind of holds my front up, sort of. Fighting gravity here. There we go. So we get uh, my first eight million. 
trim clip in. Okay, next eight milli. And then we're gonna do all the five fives all around the, the whole line. I need to do a tool. Okay. Once you get all of them started, go ahead and tighten them all down. Tell your time. This is the last part, except for filling up the fluid. That's it. So everybody, if you ever have to replace your steering gear on your 6.7 Power Stroke, beautiful truck, it just had a leaking power steering gear, which it happens. Make sure to give me a like, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, drop me a comment, and let me know what you guys think about what you just saw. And as always, Thanks for watching.